traders and non-traders who are just interested in Forex and watching this. I'm Scott Andrews. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is, it's what I would call, it's a, you know, it's a mid-afternoon update. We're not into the London session quite yet. Uh, it's quarter past two here in Perth in the afternoon, so 4.15 in the afternoon Sydney time. And look what we're seeing here is the euro US dollar. Now, I talked about reversion to the mean when this happened. So there was a gap up to start the week off yesterday and it sort of came tumbling back down. I didn't expect to see that so much on the Monday. I thought we'd see a bit of this on the Monday, but uh, the London and New York sessions last night were pretty active. I was at work. I'm working all week uh, for, for night shifts. So it was pretty entertaining to watch this. Uh, the low of, uh, what was the low? If I can find it, 6074. So nearly actually dipped under six under 60 so that is interesting um look currently what we're seeing here I, i'm not going to be doing anything else until we see a move to around 40 uh which would be around four percent and then i would be moving to capture around two percent of the move i might move this lower uh to to round down here i think a bit later we'll just see how this consolidates now and whether or not it wants to go low if it goes lower i probably will um but in reality, there's nothing much else going on. Uh, I was talking about the pound as a potential sell trade. Let's see how the hourly is doing intraday. Yeah, so it's really basing pretty solidly at the low, you know, 33. And it's not really offering anything price section wise to me. So I sell in a weakness and I buy in a strength. So that's what I do. It's not everyone's cup of tea, um, but that's how I approach, you know, trade entries. And I use the 55 day moving average as my stop loss placement. So, uh, let's see how the Aussie yen is going. Collapse, Aussie dollar. <clears throat> I hope everyone's having a great week so far as well. Uh, as you can see, I started this month with $1,000. And I'll probably move that so I kept it around 60. So, um, you know, equity is nearly back up to break even, but this has still got a bit of work to do currently with the um, with the euro. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to sip my coffee once more. And guys, just a quick question: you know, If you're thinking to yourself, "Am I a full-time trader? You know, what am I doing?" Uh, that's not the case. If you've been following the videos, thank you guys to the OG subscribers. Um, but you know, no, I work full-time job. I do this on the side. I've been back testing a little bit in the, in the morning, so I wake up. I do a few things and I get on the computer do some back testing, especially if there's nothing much going on with the charts. And during the Asian session for an individual like myself who trades the four hour candles, nothing much really happens at all significant. All right, so that's the, let's get the Aussie dollar up now. What's that doing? Yeah, so flatline a bit. I talked about a buy trade here potentially if it closed above 76 and it hasn't. It's sort of tested and now it's faded away a little bit. Uh, Euro Aussie was a potential sell trade. It's had a bit of a bounce there. That was that was sellable, but what I say is the Monday I really don't like to get into any positions because typically what happens Monday is the opposite of what, I, what will happen for the rest of the week. And I don't always call them correct, but it seems that that is the case with this, so that's pretty evident for that. New uh, Zealand dollar, what's it going? Yeah, really range burn and choppy. I think kind of might have bought into that. So we'll see how that goes for him. I think he's in a buy trade on that. So again, trade talk, Pippin and Easy, episode 66 will be up Thursday afternoon, guys, probably about five o'clock or so Perth time. So feel free to check that out. Uh, the pound again. You know, what I'd like to see here is something like this. Something like this candle here, guys. So I'm going to even use a little shape thing to beep. Something like that. Can I butcher this? I'm going to try not to. I don't know how that works. Right. Yeah, something like that. So it closes near the low. And it's not, I mean, something like that's fine. It's, it's sort of tested highs. And then it's retraced. And I like to see it close near the low. That's what I like to see. So um, let me just delete that. That's really horrendous looking on the chart, isn't it? Bands. The worst is trying to delete shapes. <laughs> anyway, we'll leave that for now. But that's sort of what I'm looking for. Nothing really has presented itself yet, but I'll keep an eye out and 
Um, for updates on positions, follow me on Instagram, Scotty's Trading. Also follow me on Twitter, and that's at Trade Talk. Pippin Connor also shares his positions as well. If you guys are curious, no, we don't provide signals. We just share our ideas. It's more of a trend trading type of community dash club is what we're into. Okay, anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and bye for now.